Rouhani, many have lost trust in Iran's future following US sanctions. Pressure mounted on Iranian regime President Hassan Rouhani on Tuesday as lawmakers summoned him to answer questions on weak economic growth and rising prices. But the parliament was not convinced with his answers and referred the case to the judiciary. Rouhani said that economic troubles only began when Washington reimposed sanctions on Tehran. But many lawmakers did not find that answer satisfying, according to vote results at the end of the session, reported by Tasnim News Agency. Rouhani also said, be aware that sabotage creates destruction. Be aware that painting a bleak picture of people's lives will lead to further darkness. During the speech, Rouhani also argued that the January protests in Iran encouraged President Donald Trump to withdraw from the nuclear deal. Pompeo, US will vigorously defend against Iran court challenge. The United States will vigorously defend itself in the International Court of Justice against Iran's challenge to the reimposition of US sanctions, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said on Monday. Iran demanded in The Hague that the top UN courts suspend the unilateral US sanctions, which were slapped back on three weeks ago following the US withdrawal from a landmark 2015 nuclear accord with Tehran. Pompeo said, we will vigorously defend against Iran's meritless claims this week in The Hague. He said, Iran's filing with the International Court of Justice was an attempt to interfere with the sovereign rights of the United States to take lawful actions against the reimposition of sanctions which are necessary to protect our national security. Political prisoner goes on hunger strike. Young political prisoner Ramin Hussein Panihi goes on hunger strike as word spreads of his impending execution. His brother Amjad is keeping everyone updated on social media, but has no further news since last night. Ramin is refused any communication. One tweet suggests Ramin was beaten in jail and has been taken away. The last report had him held in Raja Shah prison, Tehran, where he is far from home. In Maravan, protesters call for Ramin's complete release and no to his execution. The international community has also been very strict to give Tehran the halt message. The campaign of defense for civil and political prisoners stated that Ramin was severely beaten while taken to solitary confinement. His condition was so bad that he had to be taken to hospital. Ramin's latest condition and fate have added to the family's concern for their young boy. Iran student gets seven years for taking part in university protest. A 21-year-old student in Iran has been sentenced to seven years in prison for taking part in university protests, her lawyer and Iranian media said on Monday. Pariza Rafi, an art student at the University of Tehran, was convicted of assembly with the intention of acting against national security, propaganda against the system and disrupting public order, according to newspaper Shag. A total of 45 of her fellow students are also behind bars for their part in much broader unrest that swept the country later in December, according to an article in the Etimad newspaper. It said at least two of the students have been given sentences of eight years without providing details and that all the cases were due to be completed within the next month. 